There are few, ru fewer rusting old cars scattered about Nevada's desert these days. The main reason is a phenomenon called the rat rod craze. Jack Sutton explains in tonight's Nevada Backroads. Let me tell you a story of a hot rod kid and his cars. Rick Miller's got his hair slicked back, t-shirt, and jeans rolled up 50 style, and a yard full of old iron, the makings of his rat rods. Original cars came from Detroit, but uh, a lot of times we find them in the desert, or people find them in the desert and bring them to us. Um, all kinds of different ways we we come across them. So Rick, I don't think I've seen a car uh, like this before. Did you modify it? I shortened it. It was a four-door. Um, I didn't have any back doors, so I just made it into a two-door, just for, just for yard art. Talking with Rick, the lines from a classic hot rod song come to mind. It's got a Lincoln motor and it's really souped up. That Model A body makes it look like a pup. It's got eight cylinders, uses them all. It's got overdrive, just won't stall. With four barrel carbs and dual exhaust, with four 11 gears, you can really get lost. It's got safety tubes, but not to worry. The brakes are good and the tires are fair. Just gotta find a car and and uh, build a frame and uh, go from there. You can't miss Rick when he drives near and far, cruising in style in his rat rod car. Reporting in Reno, Jack Sutton, Channel 2 News.